What am I learning? Wow, I think a lot of things. I do tend to read a lot. I kind of binge read and have multiple things on my iPad. I'm going on a bike trip in Italy, so I'm attempting to learn Italian. I might spend time even on Wikipedia and kind of, I call it kind of hyperlink learning. I'm reading a lot about digital disruption of labor markets, automation, artificial intelligence, and the impact that will have on the workforces of the future. Helping people adapt and upskill in a rapidly changing world of work is going to be the defining challenge of our time. People often ask us, you know, what is it that they need to do to become employable? More employable today, but also more employable in the future. And the answer is there really is no single thing. It's really about learning and continuing that learning. So it's not about what people know. It is more about how quickly people can learn. To learn and keep learning is the best way to make yourself relevant in the workplace in the future. So what we call it is learnability, which is the desire and ability to continue to learn so that you can remain employable for the long term. Learnability is critical to employability. What I'm curious about is what personality characteristics actually make some people curious and how can you actually encourage people to learn more? Because employers will not be able to change out the workforce every time that something changes. They need to evolve and grow their workforce and that's why learnability is going to be such a key element of the uh, talent that they have within their organization. we've come up with an assessment, the LQ assessment. And the idea here is very simple, to give people a sense of what their strengths and developmental opportunities are and help them become more curious. I get bored easily, true. I prefer word searches to riddles, uh, nope. I like to try anything once to see what it's like, false. I don't care how it works as long as it works. False. The LQ assessment might superficially look like, you know, a BuzzFeed quiz, like what 17th century philosopher should you be or what breed of dog would you be. Um, the difference is this actually works. And the reason why that helps you is you understand what's a good match for the kind of work that you want to do and it can help you figure out how to expand your learning because the best way to learn sometimes is to do something that you're not good at. Thinking ahead, I do get a little nervous that I don't have all the knowledge that I need in order to move forward. But I'm a planner, so it will happen. <laughs> I think it would really be something that would be great for my whole team to do, so then I can kind of tailor um, their development to that. We all need to be interested in enhancing our skills on a continuous basis. So, have you taken the test, Mark? I was the um, scholar, thrill seeker, and a, I can't remember free the thing. free thing. So it wasn't a big surprise because I felt like my mother was talking to me when I read it. I ended up um, quite similar to yourself, except instead of the scholar, I was a doer. So I saw an example of you being the doer. To know where you stand on the learnability quotient is going to be very useful and challenging. At Manpower Group, we encourage all individuals to focus on learnability. We believe that is the new currency. Learnability is going to be one of the greatest predictors of career performance, career success, and the ability to have sustainable and meaningful employment during your lifetime. And that, we think, really has the power to change the world.